world's premier racing classic, but also the man whose legend has been passed from the Indianapolis 500 to the sprint car ranks. Tony Holman's finest moment at Indianapolis came in 1977 as he greeted longtime friend A.J. Foyt after his record-setting fourth 500 victory. Sadly, it also marked his final appearance at the famed Brickyard. But 80 miles southwest of Indianapolis lies another of Holman's pet projects, the half-mile Terre Haute Action Track. There, drivers from across the country have battled wheel to wheel since 1971 in the prestigious Tony Holman Sprint Car Classic. Two years ago, 1980 Sprint Car Champion Rich Vogler was the class of the field, sometimes riding his mount on the outer limits of both the machine and the groove. But in 17 races, only Pancho Carter has claimed the classic more than once, receiving the accolades of fans and his father in 1975 and again in 1979. Throughout the years, names like Snyder, Bettenhausen, Opperman, Kenzer, Hewitt, Hood, and Schumann have all graced victory lane. And among those vying for a second classic title is defending champion Steve Butler. The Kokomo, Indiana native parlayed his win last year into the sprint car title and hopes to engrave his name in the record books tonight with a second straight Holman Classic crown.